Good morning, guys. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. <sighs> Turn the TV on. Rise and shine. Ooh. No. Never fails. I'm telling you. She's like, you're not going to pay attention to me? You're going to start talking? I'm going to start barking. Okay. I started measuring out my creamer that I put in my coffee. It doesn't taste as good now. <laughs> For two tablespoons is 10 carbs. Two tablespoons don't do nothing. I must have been putting in like six tablespoons. It's not good. Anyways, I'm drinking it. I don't like it that much, but I'm drinking it. It's coffee. That is what it is. She didn't know how to deal with the fireworks last night because she was freaking out. <sighs> oh. I actually slept in. This is to me, it's 8 o'clock, and I this is to me, so, um, slept in. I'm ready to go to get some stuff today, like some alcohol swabbies, because I've been checking my blood sugar regularly. Our garden we had to switch because we had the garden up against our wall and it was only getting sunlight maybe three four hours a day and things are growing very slowly very very slowly so it took big guy almost two hours with a car jack because it's so heavy that he um I had to go oh that reminds me I need to go because I told you guys I had the regular my regular prescription and then the bifocals. Hate it. It's like freaking four hundred dollar glasses. So I have to go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And these are the thin ones. I didn't get the rounder ones, which I um, was told that it would be better because then you have more width to see more range. So I have to go really high this way to see normal, and really low like this to see. Yeah, so I have to go. Just there's a place over here where you can get really cheapy glasses. I have my prescription. Just so they'll just do my regular prescription anyway, so I can totally see throughout the whole freaking glasses. Which I'm gonna be afraid I'm gonna like those better and not wear these ones. We'll see. But anyways, it took him like almost two hours to jack it up because it's full of. You know, he didn't want to take all the soil out. And anyway, so he ended up doing it. And it was hot yesterday, so he had to, we had to so drink a bunch of water, packed him with a bunch of ice things, because he was, like, really hot. But he did it. Anyways, now it's getting sun, like, all the time. And I guess those, the, like, tomato plants, like, thrive on the sun. Um, the sun, he went... He went to work and and this lady had of her backyard was jacked up and he had noticed her, her plant her tomato plants were thriving. I mean they were just like everywhere, but everything was dead. And he was like, oh, "You got to be kidding me!" He's out there doing vitamins in there and you know puffing up the soil. He's like, you just can't plant this and expect it to you know do it on its own. You actually really got to go in there and you know lift the soil and put vitamins and and it perked him up a little bit. But the lady said no. She goes, we don't do nothing with it and it just we get tomatoes all like almost all year round and I don't even water it. He's like, what? But anyways, that's why he moved everything over there. Anybody can't see in the morning? 
That's why I always do that. Wake up, wake up. Oh. That's what my sister did last night. Ow, ow. Um. She goes, oh, I'm going to dye dad's beard and hair. And I'm like, oh, you know, he'll like it. Thinking, you know, like his normal color, like this. Like this. She sends me a picture, and it's the color she did of her hair, which is an off purple. I'll put a picture in. He's adorable any which way. But I'll, I'll put a picture. He looks adorable. But come on, why... I'm gonna tell her she needs to go get some dark dye, cause it's like a like a a faded burgundy mustache, and his hair. And he had such white mustache and hair that it took it. She must not have kept it in that long, cause it's like, ooh, I don't know. No, he can't be walking around like that. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Anyway, so. Um, plans today. I would have vacuum. I did my cleaning yesterday, so it's, I just got to vacuum the floor in here. Put something in the crock pot, because I don't, you know, because then dinner's just ready. I have to run and go get some more alcohol swabbies. For my phalanges. Checking my blood sugar. Oh, that's a nice sight. Cannoli. Stop it. Don't lick me. Don't lick me. I'm going to be licking on you, Brody. Don't yick me. So I gotta go do that. I want to, I'm off today, yes. Lost five pounds, which I'm happy about, but long way to go. Ashley's got me motivated, man. She, she don't quit, like she doesn't cheat. She doesn't, she, that girl, I am so flipping proud of her. She, like months, months and months and months and months and months and she has not cheated not once she sticks to she says what she does and does what she says man that's my girl she's strong and mighty and i tell her that every day you believe in it go get it i've lost 60 pounds a few times in my life so losing weight once i get on a mission is no problem and that girl's lost over, over a hundred pounds. And she looks phenomenal. You know when, and girls that have weight will understand this. And I know this very well. When you gain enough weight, you look more big. And it's like, no matter what you do, you just kind of, your arms are more full, your stomach is more full, your legs are more full. You just look on the bigger side. And then you start losing weight, losing weight. And you get to the point where now you're not on the bigger side. You're on the verge of now looking on the smaller side. And that's a good feeling, you know, because you're healthy and you have more energy. And it's just she's on that thinner side now. And I'm so proud of her. Her arms have slimmed down to where she's just not on that bigger side anymore. She's on the slimmer side. I'm like, girl, you are on the slimmer side. And it's not a vanity thing. It's 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 a health thing. And you got to be healthy. I watched a video yesterday and it just messed me up. Anybody on my little meatballs watch? Um... Sarge what is it 24 I never call I never the 24 coffee creamer Sarge she's in the hospital right now with a brain tumor 
it's she has cancer and it, it that messed me up when I saw that last night I was like I mean, that has nothing to do with weight. I'm just saying, you just, life is so short. So the health is the whole point is what I'm saying. You have to stay healthy. Because you never know. Big guy. Perfect example. Doesn't drink. Doesn't use drugs. Hard worker. Good man. Not that anybody deserves anything. But what, what I'm saying is, is that he doesn't fit profile of someone who has stage 4 liver failure. It just gets to me. But you have to be healthy. What it boils down to, he has NASH, non-alcoholic cirrhosis, which probably was caused by a fatty liver. Never, he was never huge just always carry belly weight, they said. Anybody who carries belly weight and you carry it for a long amount of time, it's going to mess with your liver. And he also took a lot of Advil, which I believe was the main, I truly believe which was the main thing that caused that. But anyways, you got to stay healthy, people. I mean, look. People do mukbangs, and it's like, some just do regular meals, like me. I've never wanted to do a large amount of food. Not going to happen. Never done that. But I called it mukbang. Because um, I like to cook, and I like to eat. I carry a lot of belly weight, and who knows? But right now, I am sitting here drinking my coffee, and Sarge is on a ventilator young anyways you guys go show their her page some love you can pull it up it's um, 24 paws and coffee creamer anyway she's known by Sarge if you put 24 paws and coffee creamer or you know Sarge it will pull up you'll know And a few months back, she was just requesting people send her postcards around the world. That's what she wanted. And I don't want to say it's past, you know, because she's here. And only God knows. I know it was, if I, if I heard it right, they're putting her in that induced state because of the pain she says her vision's like 90% gone because of the, the tumor. They're trying to, sh it's just, just your health. Everybody, your health. And just like big guy's specialist said, you're teetering. Yeah, you what, what the, li the liver you have is functioning, but you're, you're doing this. If you keep doing bad, you know, if you're doing good, it's going to, you'll play the balancing game. You keep doing bad, you're going to go over to the other side, and unfortunately, we won't give you a liver. If you're not going to do the basically the work, not that he's not, I'm just saying this is, this is what they say. If you don't, I mean, we'll give it to somebody who wants a liver, who's going to do every single thing we tell them. And weight is a huge thing. Big guy's got to get that weight off. But send a lot of prayers to Sarge, his family, and Sarge, and just God punched me in the gut last night when I seen that. I was like, oh. Sorry about the gardener. So today for Sarge, while I can, I'm gonna go out, feel the sun in my face, go to a couple stores, get some Ezekiel bread, hydrate. And today is for you, Sarge. But 
chili with cannoli. I think all laundry is done. Again, I gotta vacuum. I do gotta cop in the shower. Oh, is that in my nose? Oh, they're gardening back there. Literally, my nose instantly started like clogging up. Holy crap. Like, instantly. Hold on, guys. Yeah, it was. I got up and it was instant smell of lawn. I must be allergic. <laughs> Normally, I don't. I haven't done that for years. But. Um, that got to me. Ugh. I'm fine now. I did not rip ours. That was my couch. I do have to, I'm going to think I might go to some thrift stores. Come on, man. I watched a stupid movie last night. I was like, ooh. Um... Leonardo DiCaprio. He makes good movies. This movie is freaking stupid. It's about some island. I don't even know what it was called. He He's a good actor. He acted good, but the, the movie was stupid. And I'm going to go to this, gla this high glass place. Today. Come on. TV. You have to push this and push that for it to turn on. It's like a freaking puzzle. Just turn on the damn TV. Fill up the pool. Go in the um, pool with um, the meatballs. I do. Okay. Yeah. I already know I need to go get Ezekiel bread. I'm just. I should write a little list. Al alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> alcohol swabbies. Um, I don't know. I'm still waking up, guys. I had it all. Um, big guy had it all dark because my day off, so he had it all dark in there. I thought, oh man, it's like six in the morning. I won't get up. I'm gonna get up, make some coffee. I was like, 7:45, and I want to sleep in. I mean, I did, but I I didn't. I mean, that's not like I didn't. It's not like you sleep until 10, and then you think. To me, if I sleep until 10, it's like a big wasted fat day. It just sets up the day for being a big fat waste of time. Which is not, but you know, I like, it's nice and cool. It's going to be freaking hot today. Like really hot. So I'm opening everything up right now. I had to close the back door because of my nose. I parked back there too in the garden tent. I got to get these tightened. Hello? Hello? All right, so I'm going to go hop in the shower. <clears throat> well, first drink my coffee. <sighs> it is what it is. Ten carbs right here. Maybe if I only drink half, would that be a what? I mean, in theory, if I only drink half of this, would I only be having five carbs? What's the science behind that? Cause is it worth drink all of, drinking all of it if I'm just not totally happy with it? Yeah, it's coffee. All right, guys. Almost 20 minutes of love you guys. I'll be vlogging all day today because I'm running solo. Until later. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna go visit shy figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner wish I had my Ezekiel bird right now all right I'm gonna go cannoli says hello hi you love who's here who's here <laughs> she's my road dog literally See my love bucket. Okay, I will vlog today. I will. I'm gonna go blow my nose because it's a running. 
I showed you guys my nails. I'll show you again. Or you could see it better. Oh, that was cute. I, forget. I got eyeliner up in there in the cuticle and I can't get it out. so nice I love them. I love them. all right guys love you two knows us oscillator gator i have a clip too of fourth of july i might put in here but it's like 20 minutes long no 15 minutes long we'll see all right see you at lunch or see you at the eye store or see you at the thrift stores all right hello guys all right i did go to to the to get new glasses i mean i'm still gonna these are my vision stigmatism and bifocals all in one but i'm getting some that are just for my vision because that's like i'm all, I'm all like you, you guys already know that I'm up here there everywhere okay a little store haul show you something quick i got some victoria's secret tangled blossom also some uh, pure sensation Pure Seduction <laughs> Water Bloom. Both fragrance mists. Fragrance mists. I need water to pot. And then I bought um, teas. Which just so smells so delicious. So that was just a little mini. A little mini haul. Me and Ash are going to do... The honeycomb it's from Trader Joe's. The honeycomb. Um, it's not a challenge, but we're gonna do a video on eating the honeycomb. We found it. Trader Joe's. It's in there. You guys see it? Burp. Sesame Ezekiel bread. Yum. All right. Then I went to Walmart. It's hot, guys. I wasn't gonna buy a bag, I just used this as a bag. Big guy was talking about how his mom used to make him um, iced tea in glass containers. And I have a little glass container up there, but it's more like for orange juice. And so, with his mom passing, this is just like a little, I'll put some lemon in there and put it outside for the sun to just a uh, sun tea. That's what he was saying. So, I'm gonna clean that out. A little top, a little, I have a little poor thing. Oh, it just comes off. I thought he would like it. Let's see. Oh, that cookie smells so good. Boom Chick Pop, sea salt popcorn. This, I flipped on other popcorns, and this by far, you can have four cups, and it's seven grams of fat, but you don't need four. Um, and it's, I think it says 19. Yes, 19 grams of carbs, but you know, divide that by two if you're only doing two. And I would do one more like one. This would be for a snack, not a meal. Had to get some alcohol swabbies. Some apples, some lemons for the sun tea for the big guy. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna put Ezekiel one piece of Ezekiel bread in the toaster. I made some tuna for big guy last night for his lunch. Got some zucchini um, and some tomato, and then my oversized. <laughs> These things crack me up. Oh my lord! Look at that. I mean that's that's I mean literally softball, huge softball slice. I'm gonna make like a like a soup. Some celery. I'm gonna make some um, some iced coffee right now because I need some. I don't work tomorrow, so I can have it. And then I'm gonna put clean this out, make some sun tea for a big guy, and then I'll sit down and do another video. I have half banana too with my Ezekiel bread, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, see you in a little bit. All righty, my Ezekiel bread is toasted. I'll put some tuna. Have my ice. I'm gonna make some iced coffee right now. 
be right back. Be right back. <laughs> and then what I like to do is just crumble up one Lay's potato chip on top so I'm feeling like I'm not feeling being deprived. So I still get the taste and the saltiness and then I paired it up with some um, cucumber. Okay, so I have um, about a half a cup of coffee, some water, and two tablespoons of my creamer. So it's lunch time. Oh my guys. Oh my God, it's hot. This shirt is actually supposed to do this. But I have like football, I have like shoulders like a football player. So it never stays. But then you got your bra problem. Girls problems. Girl problems. No, like it's like underwear. They just roll right back up. We're gonna try, we're gonna keep it. See if it works. Okay, so I have my lunch. I put some tapatio on my cucumbers. Cause you know, I ran out of jalapenos and I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to get more. So I have my coffee in there. Two tablespoons of creamer. Get that flavor up in there. It's not as sweet as I like it, but it will do. Third time. Amen. I get happy when I get to eat. Oh, my it's not toasty anymore. I crumpled one chip up there. Just so I don't feel like I'm missing out. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. More. More. Spicy. I have um dried cilantro. That'd be good on this too. Some garlic. That's juicy. For real though, a jalapeno would make this primo. Someone's calling. No, actually not. My phone only has 5%, so I'm gonna have to make this short. I can do it. So nice out right now. And then I get a phone call. I'm not gonna answer it. I have to call it back. Anybody else for that? I probably could have put a couple of popcorns on there. And it would have did the same thing. Anybody else do this? Mmm. Told you. It's rolling up. Got some cube cheese in there too. And a hard boiled egg. I probably should have did the hard boiled egg.
Since I got a bunch now, I gotta eat them. Or use them. Mmm. -hmm. Should have got a watermelon too at the store. Sesame Ezekiel rib is the best. Trying to hurry. I got like four percent, three percent. Mm-hmm. Should have put some lemon on there. Shoulda, coulda. That's a good snack, though. Cut up one of these. Some tapatio. Cut up some jalapenos. Some cilantro. Some lemon, lime. Pepper. Mm. And a side of ranch. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Told you. Women's struggles. We know how to put the bra strap down. I've never been one or strap the bra. See, there you go. We're just going to do that. Not me. It's like a G string. No. 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 Can't have me no. I don't see how girls think those are comfortable. Those are not comfy at all. Just give me my big mama browns and I'm good. I mean, I have cute underwear, but they cover. Ooh, that is good. I'm trying to get used to the more coffee taste and less creamer taste. All right, guys, it's going to die, so I better wrap it up. Plus, i got to start for my soup for tonight. All right, love you guys, too. Another sauce pasta later, Gator. Big meatball loves and hugs. A big blessing to Sarge. And most of you guys know who she is. If not, go check her channel out. 24 paws, was it 24 paws, I don't even, I just know her stars, just look up 24 paws creamer, I don't know, I always mess her the name up, but go check her out, give her page some mad love and mad prayers above anything and everything, love you guys, tune on a little awesome oscillator gator, big meatball loves and hugs, and we'll see you on the flip side. Mark, 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 mark,